Hi everyone. So today we're going to start with a new class. We're just going to start by getting warmed up with bringing those shoulders back and rotating those wrists. Let's just loosen up the body. Feet are flat on the floor. Bringing the wrists the other way. Let's warm up the arms by just bringing them forward as if we're swimming. So this class is easy on the knees. It is designed for people that are just starting out or people that are looking for a chair exercise class. And bring those arms overhead, deep breath in, and out, and in, and out. And one more, deep breath in, and out. Good, reaching forward again. Okay, let's just bring those arms to the side, bringing them forward and back. So just starting with gentle exercises. So this class you can use weights or you can do it without. It depends on where you're at in your um, exercise level. So some people don't use any weights and others feel like they need a little bit. So do whatever works best for you. All right, let's bring those arms overhead. And if this hurts your shoulders at all, just bring your arms forward instead. And keep going. And one more. Excellent. Let's relax those arms for a little bit. Bring those shoulders back. Good. Okay, let's warm up those legs. We're gonna bring one leg up. I want you to really concentrate on tightening that quadricep muscle. And down, switching to the other side. And down. And three. And let's just do one more. Excellent. All right, bringing those calves, the heels up and down. So we're doing a calf raise. So strengthen the back of our legs. And we're gonna do two more. All right, back to upper body. Let's just punch those arms forward. If this is too fast for you, then just go slower. Do whatever is comfortable for you. Excellent, let's stay with those arms. We're gonna bring the arms out to the side and let's just do little circles. And bringing those circles a little bit bigger. So you can see my arms are straight, my wrists are straight. Um, sometimes when I do this class, people just do this. I want you to move your entire arm. Excellent, and going in the other direction. And bringing those circles smaller, so totally straight arms, strong arms, keeping them straight, no bend in the wrist. Good, now this time we're gonna push back. So push back, push, push, and keep going. So you should feel this in the back of your arms and your triceps. And next time we're gonna bring it forward. So bring it forward and back again. So if your arms are tired, give your arms a bit of a break, maybe do a bit of a shoulder roll and then come back into it when you can. Excellent. Okay, keeping the arms forward and we're gonna row back and I want you to really push forward. So pull back and push forward. Pull. Four. And two more. Excellent. All right, let's go back to lower body again. So we're just gonna do a bit of a march. And if you want to, you can bring your arms into it. It's up to you. If you find that's too much, then just use your, your legs only. And bringing those feet wide. And back together again. All right, this time we are going to relax those arms, keep marching. 
and we're gonna do a bit of a run. So we're gonna do it for 10 seconds. So on the count of three, two, one, go. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, keep going, three, two, one, excellent. Back to a regular march. If you need a break, take a break. And bring those feet wide again. Again, if you wanna bring those arms into it, go ahead. So we're trying to get the heart rate up here. And bring those feet back together again. You can do it, keep going. Let's try and get that heart rate up. We are here for exercise. You're only here for 30 minutes, so give it your best. And, uh, and then you can relax after. All right, relax those arms. We're gonna tap those toes. So tap the toes forward. And if you want to, you can keep your arms going. So keep tapping. If you find it difficult in your chair, sitting back in the chair, you can move forward in the chair. It's all about what is comfortable for you. And let's go to tapping heels. So heel taps. Taking a deep breath in and out. Excellent. Okay, this time we're gonna bring those feet out to the side. So going out to the side, if you have armrests, you'll definitely need to move forward in your chair so you can get that motion of your legs actually going out. So take a break if you need it, but otherwise try and keep going. Try to keep, keep up. And we're gonna go back to a toe tap. So tapping forward. Now, if this is too easy, you can bring your arms into it. So you can bring an arm out at the same time as your foot is going out. And if that's too much, just do the legs. And let's go back to a heel tap. So if you don't like the music I have, just drown me out and put your own music on. You have to find music that really works for you. Unfortunately, I can't always use the music that I would like to use because of copyright. Okay, let's go back to going to the side. So here you can, sorry, I did that, uh, did two tap, toe taps. So going to the side, you can bring your arms into it as well. So same leg and same arm, okay? Do what you can. If you're getting sweaty, that is great. That is what you're supposed to be doing. All right, let's go back into a march. All right, let's keep the march going. Relax the arms. We're gonna do one more run. So on the count of three, two, one, and go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, going back to a march. Okay, we are going to go back into our toe taps. And heel tap. Okay, let's give the lower body a bit of a break. Let's go back to upper body. So we are going to um, pick up the weights. If you don't want to use weights, that is totally fine. It is totally whatever uh, works best for you. If you are able to use weights, if you feel you're at that point, then find a weight that you feel is going to be somewhat challenging for sure. You don't want it to be, to be too easy. Okay, so anywhere from one to five pounds probably. Um, so grab a weight. We are going to lean forward. So maybe I'll go on the side so you can see what I'm doing. So we're leaning forward. Your back is flat, you're rowing up. So row up. If you don't have weights, you can use water bottles or you can just do it on, without anything. Uh, when I run this class at work, most of the, the people actually do not use weights because they're not at that fitness level yet where they can do that. So here we're squeezing our upper back so squeeze that upper back, trying to strengthen the back. And let's just do one more, excellent. Okay, sitting on the edge of your chair, 
You're just gonna lean back into your chair. You're bringing the arms forward and you're pressing forward and up. So you're going up at an angle in case you can't see. So I'm leaning back, going up, okay? So end of the chair, lean back into your chair. Make sure your back is straight. You're not slouching, okay? Press, pressing forward and back down. So press and down. And let's do two more. Excellent. Okay, sitting up straight, sitting on the end of the chair, or you can sit back, whatever's more comfortable. I find sitting on the edge, you can get, it's just a little bit easier to move. So sitting up straight, shoulders are back. We're bringing the weight up to just about eye level, nose level, right around there, okay? And back down. So up, and we're working our shoulders here. So control at all times, going up slowly and coming down slowly. We're not allowing the weight to, to come down quickly. Okay, so control at all times. And if this is too hard, uh, do it without weight or do it one at a time. Okay, so just one arm would go up and then the other arm would go up. Let's just do one more. Excellent. Okay, this time we're gonna do a, a front raise. So we're gonna bring that weight going up in front and then the other side. So for this one, we're doing one at a time. It is a little bit harder, which is why I do one arm at a time. Excellent, good. All right, a few more. So this one gives you definition in the front of your arm. So the more you do this one, the more of that definition you will get. Okay, and one more on each side. Excellent, going into a bicep curl. So bringing that weight up to the shoulders and down. Now, if you do have a heavier weight, this would be a good time to be switching it up actually for this one exercise. Our biceps are very strong. So if you can, grab a heavier weight, lifting that weight up and back down. So squeezing that bicep, the bicep is in your upper arm right here, okay? So squeezing and down. Seven. And let's do two more. Good, okay, putting that heavier weight back down picking up the lighter weight or no weight at all. So for the next one, we're gonna work on the back of our arm. So we're just gonna lean forward a tiny bit. Your weight is at your shoulders and you're just pressing that weight back. So when I'm pressing it back, I can feel that in the back of my arms, on the upper part of my arms. So press back and bring the weight back to the shoulder. So you can see the upper part of my arms is not moving. It's just staying in that position. It's just my lower arms that are kind of going back and forth in a controlled motion. And if you don't have any weights, you can do the same thing. Just use your hands to press back. All right, putting those weights down. We're gonna do some um, arm exercises and shoulder exercises without weights. You can do a lot without weights as well and have it still be challenging. So let's bring those arms out to the side again. We're gonna do what we did earlier. We're pressing back. So it's like you're pushing the wall behind you. So concentrating on the arms during this exercise, really pressing back. Good, now bringing those arms forward and I want you to row back. So pulling back, pushing forward. Pull and push. So if you want this to be harder, really concentrate on there being something really heavy that you're pulling. So you're really pulling and then you're pushing. It's like you're pushing some furniture away from you. So it makes a big difference with the exercise if you really concentrate on there being resistance. So pressing and pull. And let's do two more. Last one. 
Good, keeping those arms in this position. We're just gonna bring those arms up and down. So arms are tight for this one, and just up and down. Again, no bend in the wrist. And just bring those arms back and forth. So same thing, just going in a fast motion back and forth. Now, if this bothers your shoulder at all, um, just do what I was doing before with going up and down, okay? All right, let's bring those arms down to the side. Bicep curl, pressing up, pulling down, and down again. So squeeze those biceps, pressing up, pulling down. So even though I have no weights, this is still challenging by really concentrating on squeezing those muscles, tightening those muscles. Keep going. We are halfway done already. So do what you can. I mean, the more you do, the stronger you're gonna get. You know, at, I often hear people say, oh, I don't have energy to exercise. <laughs> if you exercise, you will get more energy. I know it's hard. It's not always easy to, to make ourselves exercise. That is for sure, even for myself, for most people. But once you do it, you feel so much better. Okay, this time we are just going to punch forward. So punching forward again in a controlled motion. You're not just moving those arms back and forth, but you're really concentrating on tightening those arms. And let's go into a cross country ski. So with heavy, heavy arms, we're pushing and pulling. Okay, relax those arms. Let's go back to lower body. So there are some options here, depending on what level you want to be at. If you are not able to get out of your chair, you can just bring your legs up whenever we st the rest of us stand up, okay? So you're gonna bring your legs up and then bring them back down. If you want it to be a little bit harder, if you have armrests, you can use your armrests to help push you up. Stand up and sit back down again. If you don't need that and you want it to be harder, have your hands here, feet are shoulder width apart. You're standing up and then you're coming back down. Okay, so choose your level. And even if you can do a few sit to stands and then the rest of the time you do this, that would be great. And the more you do it, the more you'll be able to do for, for standing up. I mean, it's, yeah, it's definitely a good exercise for strengthening those legs to prevent falls. And let's go. Okay, so going up and down. So we're going up to 10 here. And if you want, you don't even have to actually put your weight into the chair. You can hover over the chair and stand up again. Main thing though is making sure that you bring your glutes back in the chair or, or hovering the chair and then going back up again. You do not want your knees to be going over your toes. So I'm really pressing back and then standing again. I've lost count. I think we're at about six. Say let's seven. And let's, this will be the last one. Excellent, good. Okay, let's keep going with the legs. Let's do our calf raise again. So lifting those heels up and down. Pressing up and down. So while you're sitting here, take a deep breath in and breathing out. And let's just do one more. Good. Okay, we're gonna do a bit of a hamstring curl. So you can just curl that leg up and bring it forward again. Now, if this is too easy and you're able to, you can stand up holding onto your chair and curling that leg back. Okay, so bringing that heel up and down. And let's switch to the other side. So we're just curling that heel up and down. Four more. And two more. 
Excellent, going back to upper body. Let's bring those arms back up, back to our circles. And making those circles bigger. If this hurts your shoulders, then just do the lateral raise instead, which is just going like this, up and down, okay? A lot of people have shoulder injuries. So you just need to work around it and do what you can. Let's go in the other direction. And those circles get smaller. All right, let's bring those arms down. We're gonna bring the arms straight up in front, out to the side and down. So up, side and down. And let's do three more. Last one, we're going back into that bicep curl, pressing up overhead. So really curl and press. And we've got two more. Excellent, and let's punch forward again. So having those arms tight, pressing. I don't deny there's some strange... Good, and let's just do an upper punch. So you're just punching up. But mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I are working here today is evidence of that. And one more on each side. And let's go back to legs. So again, lifting your legs or standing up and sitting down. Okay, keeping those legs strong, putting those weight, the weight into the heels, feet are shoulder width apart and standing up. And down. If you wanna add a little bit to that, you can bring the arms up as a curl and back down. Three more. Excellent. Okay, going back to calf raise, lifting those heels up. If you want, stand behind your chair to increase, to make this one a little bit more challenging if you need it. If you're doing it standing, then you're getting all of your body weight, so it's definitely much more challenging. It just depends on where you're at, obviously. Let's do a little bit for the triceps. So we are going to do what we did before. Uh, hands are at the shoulders and you're just pressing back. Okay, so when you press back at this point, think about the back of your arms and you're just tightening the back of those arms, okay, where your triceps are. So press, your arms are totally tight here, press. If you're just moving the arms back and forth without really concentrating on the muscles in your arms, you're not getting much of the out of the exercise. So really concentrate on tightening those arms. Let's do two more. Excellent, good. Okay, let's bring those arms back out in front. We're gonna go back out to the side and forward. So trying to tire out those arms and the shoulders. We're soon gonna go into our stretching. And let's just do one more reach. So reaching up and pulling down. So really press up and pull down. And one more. Excellent, other side, so reaching up. Pull down and push up. And two more. 
Excellent. Okay, let's have the hands together. We're gonna to press those arms forward, feeling that stretch in our upper back. Taking a deep breath in and breathing out. Good, feet are flat on the floor. I want you just to lean forward, feeling that stretch in your lower back now. Reaching to one side. And then the other side. Good, reaching one arm overhead, as high as you can to the ceiling, feeling that stretch all the way down your side. And then just leaning over to the side to feel that stretch all the way down. Good, other arm, reaching as high as you can to the ceiling. And leaning over. One arm in front, cross it in front of the body for a shoulder stretch, pull that arm in. You should feel that in the shoulder here. And the other side. So out in front, cross it in front of the body, pull that arm in. Take a deep breath in. And breathing out. And bringing the arms out to the side. So it's like you're pushing your hands out to the wall. So you're pressing out, feeling a good stretch in your arms. Bringing those fingers down to the floor and up to the ceiling again. And reaching those arms in front and just pressing forward, feeling that stretch in your back again. And bringing those arms in, let's just rotate those wrists. And the other direction. Good, bringing one leg up, flexing that foot so your toes are pointing towards you. Feeling that in the back of your legs, you'll feel that in your calf muscle here. If you reach forward, you'll feel the stretch even more. So depending where you're at, you could reach forward. And pointing the toes away from you. And let's just rotate that ankle and the other direction. Excellent, and the other side. So flexing that foot again. And pointing the toes away. And let's just rotate. And the other direction. Good. All right, bringing those shoulders back. And we'll bring one arm overhead, drop the hand behind as if you're patting yourself on the back and just push that um, elbow back. You'll feel this in your triceps. So your triceps again are here. You're just pressing it back. You may already get a stretch without even pressing the arm back. Depends on how tight your muscle is. All right, other arm. So other arm goes straight up, drop the hand behind, press that elbow back. Right. So taking a deep breath in, we're going to bring the arms overhead. So deep breath in and then a big breath out. And let's do that two more times. So deep breath in and big breath out. And last one. And big breath out. And that's it for today's class. Thank you for joining me. I wish you a great day and hopefully I'll see you again. Bye for now.